What is up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another little Wemby chase break with this 2023 Prism Mega uh, 10 box break. Round teams number two. Remember, all card ship. Better get to round team the NBA. Let's go. Roll it. Six and a one, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Six and a one, seven. Joe, down to Joe. Boom. Six and a one, seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven times, seven times, seven times. Toronto Raptors down to the Memphis Grizzlies. All right, so Joe, after seven times on both lists, you have the Raptors, Sportport with the Celtics, Cup, Pacers, and Kings. Joe with the Timberwolves, Tristan with the Wizards and Nets, Justin with the Hawks. Uh, Joe with the Pistons, Mike Tower with the Blazers, Joe with the Magic and Pelicans, Tristan with the Heat Knicks, Allen with the Clippers, Joe with the Cavs, Tristan with the Utah Jazz, Cup, you have the Lakers, Tristan with the Rockets, Hornets, and Bucks, Adam with the Bulls, Joe with the uh, Dallas Mavericks, and then Cup with the San Antonio Spurs, Joe with the Suns, Tristan with the Nuggets and Thunder, Mark with the Wizards, Justin with the 76ers, and Joe with the Memphis Grizzlies. All right. Uh, if anybody wants to trade, give you guys a quick little trade window. Guess TWC then, guys. TWC. Oh, what's up, Mike? Yeah, man. I think my, uh, my happiest pick is uh, Eagles actually drafting Jeremiah Trotter Jr. It's like storybook, you know? that obsessed with them Mike. <laughs> I think I seen like who they got in the first two days. I didn't see what they got today though. Um but no I don't think they had any flashy picks to be honest. They just picked up linemen to be honest like their first couple picks so you know they lost a couple linemen especially their left tackle so not really I 
I don't think they had the draft that the Eagles had, so. speak to them yesterday they weren't here yesterday today I just sent them a text with the whole Jeremiah Trotter jr. thing but I actually don't know trash can. Work with me. Alright. I'm gonna open up all of them like we did in the last one. And then we'll go through them. like a weird Saturday. Does it feel the same for everybody else? Maybe it's because I worked on Monday for Michael, so I only had one day off last Sunday, but maybe it's finally hitting me. I work like six straight days. I definitely, uh, I'm happy that, I mean, first of all, I'm kind of upset that people passed up on Troy Franklin. Can't believe he dropped to the fourth round. He should have been a day two pick. But, uh, now I'm just more intrigued on my Ducks guys. I've always liked to see them, so we'll see if, uh, Bo Nix and Troy Franklin can have a fun connection with the Broncos. Bucky got drafted by the uh, Buccaneers, which I think is a perfect fit for him, too. Him and Richard White. Should be very nice. What's up, Rex? Yeah, I went last year, Mike. I went uh, last year to Eugene. I think week two or three, they played uh, Hawaii. I left at halftime because it was like 49 nothing by the time halftime was. Beautiful area, ton of green grass. But Oregon comes down to UCLA this next year, so definitely plan to go to a UCLA game. Against Oregon this year. Oregon's gonna be just as exciting as this year, so. Dylan Gabriel taking over. I'm excited for them to be in the Big Ten. I think they're going to do extremely well. I hope uh, Dylan Gabriel can do the Statue of Liberty as a tribute to the game they played in 2007 with Dennis Dixon. Or 2006, I think it was, Dennis Dixon. 
State destroyed Michigan that year. In Ann Arbor, too, I think. I'm definitely excited. So Rex says, my Cubbies got destroyed today in Boston. And then it says, Joe says, my Red Sox beat the Cubbies by two TDs and a field goal. No way. What? 17 nothing. Did you post about that, Rex? <laughs> Jesus, what happened? My God. It was only 2 nothing up until the fourth. Jesus. Zidane Rafaela drives in seven runs. Oh my god. What a game. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Sorry. I know it's just one game, but goddamn. Alright, it's Sir Thompson. Guess you can't have Imanaga pitch every day, Rex. <laughs> they need to unleash Imanaga like the Dodgers did with Fernando Valenzuela. Just throw out his arm in like six years. Blam, B-Base. Oladipo, James Najee. Julian Phillips. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? You know, it's funny. Speaking of that, Chad texted me today. This funny uh, husky meme from, like, their Barstool account. How, um, you know, Washington had a couple receivers go before, like, Troy Franklin did. And all I said to him was, LOL, have fun watching husky football this year. <laughs> And then he just laughed. He's like, I will. <laughs> it's okay, though. Your Huskies will bounce. They all bounce back eventually. Donovan Mitt, that's, that's probably why he said it to me. I was actually kind of shocked. You know what I did hear about Troy Franklin, I guess? Supposedly in his interviews, he, like, bombed. Which I don't know what that means, but... I mean, I'm just happy he went. He got paired up with Bo. That's pretty awesome. Paul oh, Horford, Amen. Dodgers played really early today. I don't even know if they won today. Did they win today? When we play in the East Coast, it's always early games. Tristan Vukovic. But no, I think the I think the watch I mean Washington I mean obviously there's a reason why you guys won the national championship. A lot of them got drafted this year. I think the Eagle I think the Dodgers and the um sorry, I think the 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 Ducks and, and Washington Huskies had probably the, the most draft picks by far in the Pac twelve. Last I counted, I think we both had eight in like the first five rounds. So it was pretty solid. You know, obviously, both really, really good, talented teams, obviously. Um, Oregon basically dominated, like, in the fourth or fifth, one of those ones. But, but yeah, Huskies had a really good draft, too, so, I'm, I mean, obviously. The only dude, do you know, you know which dude, uh, the running back didn't get drafted after all, huh? Dylan, I believe. He'd be a good unrestricted free agent to be signed if he didn't get drafted.
They won four to two, but Glassnow got removed in the sixth with crampings. Crampings in your hands. Oh. Instant impact. Silver. That's ooh. Instant impact. Wemby. Green. Silver as well. Look up and see how many Wa Washington Huskies and Ducks there were, Mike, for me. I'm pretty sure they had more than seven as well. Actually, the Eagles drafted, a, I think, a lineman for the, from the Michigan in, like, the sixth round. Tim and Thompson... Jaime Jaquez, Moises Moody. Brady D. Anthony Black emerging silver. Sir Thompson, Afreni Simons, Hakeem. Damon, Sochan. Oregon does football super hard. Yes, they had eight, right? Yeah. Hockey is very nice. And I'm pretty sure the Washington Huskies had just as much. If not, they might have beat us last minute. Because like I said, at the, for the fourth round, Fleury, I think that's where they started, like, kind of uh, catching up. Derek Lively. Oh, nine for Washington. There you go. Yeah. Last time I had checked, it was like 7-7 seven, seven in the fourth or something. But that's pretty good. What do you think about that Penix pick, though, Jimmy? I think that one's the most shocking one, right? Oh, they have 10 Washington. Damn. That must be a record for them, too, then. All right, so there you go. Here's, like, the first half stuff here. A couple Wemby stuff there. Instant impact Wemby. Ah, oh, well, yeah. We know that. J uh, I don't want to upset Michigan fans about JJ. You guys know my opinion already. But yeah, no, I think the most shocking thing was the Cousins thing. I mean, look, financially, it's a smart move in the sense that, look, if you really like this guy and, you know, God forbid something happens to Kirk where he gets re-injured again or just never is the same, because we don't know yet, right? I mean, we won't know until the season starts. You know, and you really like Penix to be your future, then you take him, you know? But I think the shocking part is just like, no one expected that, at least not in the first round, because you just paid like 200 plus million to Kirk. So I mean, I can, I can understand why Kirk might have been thrown off and maybe a little upset. You know, he didn't think his successor would be picked in the first round, maybe in the later rounds if one of them sneaked by, or maybe even next year. But I'm just saying they must have really loved Penix, I guess. So. It's going to be interesting. I mean, I'm sure Penix obviously understands it. Probably will be the backup, but that doesn't mean he's not going to try to uh, try to obviously, you know, prove them that even though you guys just paid Kirk and he's such an established quarterback that I can't beat him out, you know? That'll just be the dog in him. But uh, it's gonna, I'm curious to see how, how it uh, 
you know, I'm curious to see how, you know, Kirk responds to this mentally. Oh yeah, for sure, I like Panics. You know, the only thing I didn't like about him is that he went to Washington. But yeah, I love the dude. He's lefty. Gotta, gotta protect, gotta, gotta always root for the lefties out there. You know? But, I just think that was just so shocking. It is gonna be wild though that he might take over in four years, three to four years, and he'll be like 28. You know, Rogers and Love, I don't think we're that old. But yeah. Kobe Jones. Pods. Also lefty Mike. Nice. Nice. Pods is a nice one there for the Golden State Warriors in a mark. Scoop. Look at that. Silver Asur Thompson. That's going to go to the uh, Detroit Pistons, and that's going to Joe. Markel Fultz. Did you end up seeing that video last night I sent you, Rex, with a pizzle? <laughs> Poor Suns fans. My Thunder took care of business today. Sorry, Nancy, like I mentioned earlier. If you're watching this, Nancy. The Pelicans are definitely done. Odds insert. And nice Austin Rivers. 225. Grady D silver. Kason insert. Nice Kason Wallace there. This dude's such a great pick for the Thunder as well. Duke can score if need be, but great on defense. Three more to go, guys. Let's get a nice Wemby color. I think we're due for a Wemby color. Jalen McDaniels. Al Horford. Jalen Hood. Shafino. Who has the Who has the Nuggets? I mean, sorry, Spurs and Cup. Good luck, Cup. Woo! This is why. I didn't even actually see it until now. Wemby. Pink Ice. That's very nice. Look at that, man. Shafino, Sassir, Lasur, Wendell Carter. You want a scoot line? You're going to get one right now. I'm calling it now.
Jaquez for the Heat going to Tristan. Alexander Walker. And an autograph, Darius Days for the Rockets. Houston going to Tristan. Julian Phillips. Brandon Miller. There's a Wemby, Global Reach Silver. That's probably really nice. Emerging a sore green for Detroit. Pods. Christian Wood. Des Moines Hodge. Kason. Alright, sorry, Mike. I guess I. Guess I was off. Although I'm sure I might have pulled a scoot base, right? I feel like I did. I mean, I did see a pink scoot in the first half, but obviously I figured, you know, still could be more. You never know. But I think we definitely hit Jaquez in both. But yeah, let's, uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure I might have. Let's get some pods in here. Some Millers, some Kayshawns, the Soars, the Brothers, right? There's a school base. Also got a little uh, Kamara pink eyes. And then, obviously, right here, right? Pods, Sewer, Numbered, Kayshawn, Jaquez, Autograph, Sewer, Wemby, Max Impact, Sewer, Wemby Base, Eamon, Brandon uh, Miller. Hawkeyes again, Wemby, Pink Ice, and then a nice Wemby Yama Global Reach. So there you go, guys. Thank you guys so much. Again, if you guys like this, it's a pretty cheap break. It's fun. All-card ship. Uh, number three is in the store, guys. Thank you.